I wanted to make this video on really short notice since what happened to me, well, happened. So a month ago I was in the California Central Valley taking train videos for my other channel, TVM133G Railfanning, and I made the mistake of not copying my files to the computer from my SD card. Which you should really consider making a habit anyway. Fast forward to about a week ago when I went on a file organization spree. Long story short, I tried to use some cool SD card adapters and stuff, but it ended up corrupting this SD card. I'd lost access to everything on it. Everything. Now, granted, the stuff I'll show you in this video might not work for every situation, but what happened for me was that the computer told me, either in the properties screen or in one of the recovery programs I used, probably both, that there was no recognized file system on the SD card. In other words, the computer had stopped being able to read the language that the videos I had recorded were written on the card in. Now I'll admit, there have been times in my life where I was a bit careless with my data and it got corrupted in some form or another, so I've been looking for reliable data recovery methods for a good chunk of that time. One of the programs I had stumbled across was called Recover, and I've actually used it to recover corrupted files from incidents even before my most recent one, so I've known about this software previously. However, when my most recent corruption incident happened, my research led me to the wonderful lands of Reddit. And on Reddit, I found an article which walks you through the various steps to use a software I hadn't previously heard about, called DMDE. Not only is this new software able to recover files it can make out, but it's also pretty much able to repair the file system of the SD card. Hi, quick editor's note. Please, please, please take it with a grain of salt whenever I tell you I recovered my files using DMDE, as I'm remembering both a successful and a failed recovery attempt with the software. It might have been Recover that did the actual recovery, and I could just be mixing up the two programs or not, and I was under stress at the time, so just go along with me here. Okay, let me show you what I did. Okay, so here we are on the article itself. If you scroll down here, there is a, a word of warning here. I really do want you guys to take that in because if things are not done properly, then uh, data might be lost. But, you know, just if you scroll down, the instructions are below. Um, it tells you to download the program, extract it, and uh, install it and such. Uh, and then you follow the instructions within the app. Um, if you look at uh, step number five here at the end, it says click the insert button. When I did it, my button said recover instead of insert, and the program actually uh, tried to recover my files, and it succeeded. It uh, it recovered half of my files, and uh, I it put them in a folder that I had created. So this program really saved my life here. Not only were the files actually recovered, but I was also able to access the SD card itself through File Explorer. And this is without formatting it or erasing all the data on it. The only trouble, though, is that none of the actual videos were visible in the folders which had appeared. Bummer, I thought. But my newly gained access to the SD card was actually really great news, because that's where Recover comes in. When I tried to use Recover the first time to get my files back, as I said before, no recognizable file system. But now that my computer knows how to access the SD card, Recover was able to make short work of the other half of my lost data. And just like that, all my data was back, and the video I otherwise would have lost is going to be up on YouTube soon, or already is, thanks to DMDE and Recover. By the way, neither program is paying me to say any of this stuff, nor am I sponsored or anything like that. I just got super lucky during my research, and I stumbled across these lifesavers of programs, which I highly recommend you use yourself for data recovery. Or even better, show your support to both of them as they are currently free. On that note, I want to give a lot of thanks to the developers of those programs for allowing users as much freedom as you do to dig into corrupted memory and recover it. I'll leave download links for each program as well as a link to the Reddit article in the description below. And thank you as well for watching this video, and I wish you the best in your data recovery efforts. Oh yeah, and always unload your SD cards. It saves us the whole hassle in the first place. Okay, bye!